versus trance type things. I don't know why. I feel like it's it can be. So a lot of people are freaked out by it. Yeah. They think it's like on a stage and I'll make you do weird things. Right. You'll lose control. And none of that is true. Okay. Most people remember the whole thing, but it's a different brain state. It's a different emotional state. And many people think they get spaced out. They actually get tuned in. Okay. Um, hypnosis is a natural state. We're in hypnotic states all the time, either when we're really freaked out or really engaged. So I don't know if you've ever like read a book and like all of a sudden it's two hours later and you're like, where did that time go? Yeah. That's a hypnotic state. Interesting. Interesting. And so what doctors like me do is we use the trance to help you heal. And, and so what do you want to work on? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think my anxiety for sure. All right. So we're going to work on the anxiety. Okay. If you could go anywhere in the world and feel relaxed and happy, where would you go? Tahiti. Tahiti? Yeah. I'd love to. So we're going to go to Tahiti okay. in the trance. Okay. Um, because I'm going to try and use all of your senses, but visualization is so good. And you like the beach? I love the beach. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I just want you to allow your eyes to begin to feel very heavy. Okay? Can I put my head back? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now I want you to imagine yourself at the top of a long staircase a beautiful staircase, the most beautiful staircase you can imagine. So start down the staircase, step off the staircase, find yourself on the most beautiful beach in Tahiti you can imagine. And I want you to experience the beach with all of your senses. And notice in the distance a little ways, there's a natural and I want you to go toward the pool and notice the pool has steam coming off the water. It's a special healing pool. And I want you to get in the pool and feel the warm water. The water begins to swirl around you. And it takes any anxiety and washes it away. And now, I want you to get out of the pool and I want you to see a pathway that goes into the forest near the beach. Again, feeling safe, feeling comfortable. And as you begin to walk into the forest, you come to a clearing. And in the middle of the clearing is a tree stump where the tree's been cut. But on the stump is a picture of the traumas that you've had, the times that have made you sad, the times that have made you anxious. And there's a lot of pictures. And I want you just feeling safe to look at them, begin to go through them, the craziness with the OC housewives, the stalker, the court, other traumas that we haven't even talked about. But I also want you to notice that next to you is an ax. And I want you to take the pictures and put them all in a single pile and get the ax and start chopping them up. And do it with energy and enthusiasm. Because these are events in the past that you don't need anymore, that have occupied way too much of your mind. And you find, as you begin to cut them in half, and then in quarters, and then in eighths, the more you chop them up, the more that energy begins to dissipate. And pretty soon, 
with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. You chop them so much that they become pieces of dust. And a breeze comes up and takes them away. Whatever lessons you needed to learn, you learn. And you don't need the trauma in your head anymore. You don't need them infecting your present or your future. You can let them go and let them dissipate into the universe. You're doing really great. And sit on the ground just for a little bit. Restore your energy. And then get up and walk that same pathway back to the beach. And I'm gonna count backwards from five, and as I do, just allow yourself to come back in the room. Five, four, three, two, one. Can I cry now? <laughs> what was that like? It was it was very cool. No, I think I think it really helped them. Just chopping it away, and ch just making it so small that it turned to dust and blew away. It it felt very free. So, what did you see in the pictures? Oh gosh, so much stuff. <laughs> I saw a little bit of my childhood and some stuff, you know, that happened there. And I saw um, college and the guy that had, had me in the closet with the gun to my head. I saw certain cast members of Housewives. <laughs> um, and then I saw you know, the courtroom and the person that, you know, I was in court with and having been stalked for so many years and just, just like almost like flashes of so many pictures of that person because there was just so much stuff that happened repeatedly over and over. But then when you said to stack them up and like just even that first like karate chop <laughs> to it just felt so good. It was just like, yeah, and you're like, and then you just kept doing smaller and smaller and then when they get to, to that, you know, place where they like disintegrate. And, it, and then it, what happened for me is the dust almost went up like in a, in like a tornado type of a vision for me. And then it was like, all of a sudden it just was like, and it went everywhere. And like I said, it felt like it just like had dissipated into the universe and like the universe swallowed it whole for me and took it away from me. You know what I mean? And it felt really freeing. And I love Tahiti, so that was fun <laughs> being there. <laughs> well, it's, it's part of disciplining yeah. your mind. It's like, OK, what am I going to let my mind do? Because if I don't discipline it, it tends to go to what's wrong. It tends right. to go to what we're afraid of. Right. Hypnosis is so cool because it activates your thoughtful brain, calms down your yeah. Because you weren't spaced out, right? You were no. with me. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> so great to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for doing that with me. You're welcome. I'm going to let everything just go in the wind. <laughs> <laughs>